I set out to try and find some secrets from a retired hedge fund manager as well as trader to try and see if there are any correlations between hedge fund managers and retail traders. And in today's video, we are specifically going to look at Linda Rashka. Hey guys, my name is Chris Dix, retired engineer turned full-time trader for the last nine years. And in today's video, like I mentioned, we will be looking into Linda Rashka, try and find some secrets from a trader turned hedge fund manager. But first of all, let's look a little bit deeper into who Linda Rashka really is. Linda Rashka is an American financier operating mostly as a commodities and futures trader. She was born in 1959 in Pasadena, California, United States. She started as a member of the Pacific Coast Stock Exchange, traded on the Philadelphia Exchange and then became a registered CTA, Commodity Trading Advisor, and founded LBR Asset Management. She retired in 2015 and currently maintains her own private trading operation. What I really want to look into is some of the books that Linda Rashka wrote and some of the books that she was contributing towards. And one of the books is called The New Market Wizard, as well as in CNBC's financial reporter Sue Herrera's book, Women of the Street, Making on Wall Street, the world's toughest business. Also in 1995, Rashka co-authored the best-selling book, Street Smarts, High Probability Short-Term Trading Strategies with Lawrence A. Connors. She has served on the board of directors of the Market Technicians Association and was president of the American Association of Professional Technical Analysts. Also some highlights, she has taught professional and bank traders in over 22 different countries. After she retired from the professional manage money industry to wrote and publish trading sardines lessons in the market from a lifelong trader lena has been around the block guys and we are going to dive a little bit deeper into some of her secrets of what makes a fund manager or a hedge fund manager tick and what gives them that statistical advantage in the markets after doing a lot of research and her trading style we finally found a document containing all of her trading secrets that she has revealed to us. The first one I want to talk about in this video is the previous daily high and previous daily low. Something that is so simple right in front of us that we see every single day. And for some reason, we never encounter the significance up until somebody points it out. The previous daily high and low is a key pivot point for price the next day to either continue or reverse. Have you ever entered a trade and immediately it reversed? Highly likely you traded off a session high or previous daily high. Why are these levels very important? Because if you think about it, these levels are important as they are definite levels where the previous day reversed. A little bit later in this video, we're going to talk about some strategies around the previous daily high and low. Going through our top secret document, the second point I want to touch on buying the first pullback of the new high or selling the first pullback after a new low. So if you think about how the market reverse markets usually reverse in some type of M or W formation so we always expect a retest of the lows and if you go and check the markets once markets open up and you create that first high of the session usually that first pullback will buy back into that session high and the same with the low because buyers or sellers don't just disappear out of the market there was a move created with a bit of momentum and volume and those buyers or sellers that created that extension move or that break of structure they're going to try their hand again and if it fails again that is when you get your m or your w formation for markets to turn around then the third key point that i picked up in the document is that the hour the first hour of the opening range is where the majority of the volume is going to occur and also the biggest range of the day will occur during the first hour that is when volume is still fresh in the market that is when traders are still ready to go first hour is usually where you're going to get your biggest moves after that it's usually either consolidation correction 
but you want to lock it in. You want to be aggressive in that first opening hour of the cash market. That is why if you've traded with me, I always preach that the first two hours of every session, London, um, NYSE, or even Asia, that is where you're going to have the crux of your volume. If you don't get a trade in the first two hours, very likely you're going to get some low probability trade later into the day. Another point that I want to highlight in that document is the point that she shares with with Charles Dow and that is that a trend is more likely to continue than to reverse. If we think about us as retail traders, we love to try and reverse a big move and what does our instinct tell us? We want to try and reverse the move because there's a lot of space to the downside. The upside looks congested and we think listen here this is looking like a solid short a trend is more likely to continue than to reverse so just to recap in this video we touched on only four of the key elements coming back to the summary previous daily high previous daily low we looked at the first hour of the open that is where the large portion of the move is going to happen that's going to be your bigger range in the market your first two hours if you don't get a trade stick it out very likely you're not going to get a good trade for the rest of the day and then also buying the first pullback of the new high selling the first pullback of the new low and then also considering that a trend is more likely to continue than to reverse guys i want to thank you so much for joining us on this video trade live with us Monday to Friday London session and New York where we trade live with our YouTube community as well as our fellow traders in our discord community thank you for all of the support that we receive from you guys and we will see you guys on the next one